And even though you're trying your best, you feel like something's lacking, you're just not getting there, but you're not sure why, that's okay, I get it. I understand, in my career, through myself, through my clients, I've seen performance issues on teams where we have a board or a staff member that just isn't performing the way we want. I've seen performance issues on technical things like energy generation, where you know the amount of kilowatts that we were getting weren't what we were expecting. Um, how can we see it in relationships? Have you seen a relationship, a personal relationship? Maybe with a significant other, maybe with your children, maybe with your parents, where you see that you're just not seeing that growth where you want it to be. You're just not seeing it move in a direction that you feel is right. Well, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can build growth into your plans and actions so you can have that confidence that a process and a framework gives, but it also has enough flexibility to let you be you, to let you take your energy and your love, flow it, be happy, and see the results that you're after that are aligned with what you're doing. Does that make sense? So many times we see a procedure or a plan that just doesn't fit our world. This plan works no matter what you're doing. And I'm gonna show you the four steps to get there. All right, how you can build growth in. So though does it work? Sure it works. I've seen it work for myself when I lost 60 pounds on my journey to health. I have seen it in my training plans for long rides and competitions between, between when I first got healthy and now. I've seen it in my relationships. Heck, I was brought in to consult to help with the Fukushima water remediation after the meltdown in Fukushima. We were able to triple their system's performance using this exact method. So hang on with me. This is a quicker video and we're gonna get you right to the point, all right? What is the old world? The old world values just giving it a shot. Ah, just give it a shot. Good, but not consistent, okay? And that's actually important to remember. It is good to give something a shot. You've got to get the ball rolling no matter what. But if you just keep giving it a shot without any plan or strategy, strategy, it's haphazard, it's all over the place, and it's inconsistent. The, the, uh, the old world wants you to try something new every time. Try this, try that, try the other thing. Again, lack of focus, lack of structure. The old world wants you to stay the course, even if that course is heading to the rocks, right? The proud captain going out and just, I'm gonna do whatever I say no matter what. That is foolish and that is the old way of doing things. The new way realizes that a framework provides you the freedom. You see what I mean? If you have the right framework that you know works, you can build your plan within that frame and you can get there more reliably each time. That's what I'm gonna show you. The new world, you don't have to worry about doing the right stuff when you follow this process because you know you are. You have the data, how it's relevant to you. And uh, it prizes smart adjustments. This new model prizes smart pivots and adjustments. Okay, Recognize what's going on in the world and adjust your strategy and your actions to make sure that you are doing the right stuff. Okay, So what are the step-by-step -step on this? First and foremost, measure the current state, okay? This is how, this is like a GPS, okay? If you pull up your GPS app, your favorite app, it's gonna ask you where you are and where you're gonna go. Now, it, most of the time it knows because you have location services turned on, but you need that initial position and that's what measuring the current state means. It means you are going to take stake, you're going to take stock, you're going to make an assessment, a measurement. You're going to benchmark the people and organizations who are best in the world at doing the thing you're trying to do so you have an idea of where that gap is and the methods and techniques that they've used to achieve that great success. This is the first step I do in all of my projects, in my coaching projects with my coaching clients. This is what we do. We start off with an application that actually is an algorithm-based assessment using smart psychology and neuroscience. This establishes our current state and the places and things you want to do and places you want to go. Okay? What's the second step? The second step is to minimize variation. If you're gonna get great, you've got to be consistent first. So what we're going to do is learn how to track what consistency means. And consistency is so very critical. If you have no idea what you're doing and you're not following a reliable process, you're not going to reliably get where you wanna go. Just take, just imagine for a moment, Amazon, great company, I use them all the time. 
if you bought something from Amazon and it came through once, great, but the next time it didn't come anywhere close to the right time, the next time they sent you too many, the next time they billed you the wrong amount, they're doing all the same stuff, but they're not being consistent. Okay, Amazon has data, Amazon's consistent, right? This stuff makes sense. What's the third step? The third step is hit a target, any target, and measure it. Take a look at what you've achieved, take a look at what it's cost you, uh, maybe in the sense of a marketing plan, right? Is channel A giving me the cost per click that I want? Am I getting the engagement? Analyze the data as you're going through it and really understand the target that you just hit. The first time you do it, it's not gonna be perfect. You're not gonna hit the, you're not gonna go from zero to a million in one day. That's, that's just reality, okay? So measure that, measure what you hit, look at that target, and then what you do is maximize the output. That's the fourth step, okay? Now you take a look at all of your data from the first step back to now and really analyze all those key performance indicators that we talked about. Cost per click or am I losing weight? Um, am I getting faster on my bike? Can I lift more weights? Um, is my team engaging more often? Are they engaging more effectively? Whatever those things are that you're achieving, there are ways to measure each one of those things. We use online assessments, which can be accessed everywhere by your phone, your tab, your computer, and I analyze them in a specific way so that we can then make and build this growth in. So we know that we're going to get from where we started to where we're looking to end. Doesn't that make sense? Okay, um, do's and don'ts. Do, do your bench work, do your benchmarking homework, right? Figure out who it is, who are the shining stars, who are the exemplars, whether they're the organizations, whether they're the community leaders, whoever it is that you're looking up to and that you're chasing after, do your benchmarking homework, do your own initial assessment, compare that gap, because as you get better, that gap starts getting smaller, right? Do, write a schedule and stick to it. Don't you wanna understand what you're supposed to do on every given day or any moment, right? Does it have to be that tight? No, it depends on what you're doing. But the point is, do, write yourself a schedule, write yourself a plan, and be consistent following through. Um, once you've hit a target, again, do, once you've hit a target, then take a look at your data, see what got you there, Take a look at the areas that weren't as good as you thought and, and adjust it. Maybe you're writing better copy. Maybe you're using a better technique. Maybe you're going deeper in your sessions and asking for more information to really hit that emotional pay dirt that lies at the core of where we are. Sorry, I probably bumped the mic on that one. But yeah, you've got to make sure that you go deeper. Uh, don't, don't stray from the plan. If you get a bump in the road in the middle of your plan, work through it. Work through it, get the data, Find out what the impact really is and then adjust when you get to the end. When you're going to come back to the end and look to maximize the returns from your investment, your plan, your project, right? Make sure that you've gone through enough reps so that the repetitions and the work you're doing counts, right? There's no trick to this. Anytime someone says this is a trick, a trick means a strategy with a bunch of work behind it. Right? And this is a strategy. This is a better strategy that works. It's measurable and repeatable and shows you how to build growth in. Okay? What's a don't? Don't stray from the plan. Don't vary your approach too much in the beginning, right? Make a choice and stick with it. Get some data in there so you can make a decision, right? Doing something once doesn't teach you anything. Doing something twice, two data points, always form a line. Right? You're going to see, oh, that's perfect, a 100% correlation. This is the line of my, all, my whole future. No, no. Do it a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time, a tenth time. Build up a body of data behind what you're doing so you really can see if a day-to-day -day variation, whether it's sunny out or cloudy, whatever it is, minimize that outside variation as well by being consistent in your actions. All right? Don't forget to compare how you did right, to how you planned, make sure you do that post-mortem at the end. Every time you come around this cycle and you go to optimize the results, right, maximizing the results, you need to adjust your plan in that phase. Then you, now, that measurement becomes the initial measurement, 
the current state measurement of your new cycle. So the end of your last attempt ties into the start of your first one. And this is how we take it from coaching, how we get you from being a better mom to owning a business, to getting that website up, or if it's, I want to get consistent with my health. I'm already making plenty of money because I'm fearless and I just go out there and go after it. Again, not saying that's me, I'm saying this is one of the folks that I'm working with, right? But it's really looking for a strategy and a plan to get you there, okay? So what are the four steps? Measure the current state, minimize variation, hit a target, any target, and then maximize the results, okay? My name is Rocco Luongo. This has been Thoughtful Leadership. Thank you so very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, check out our website, gorocco.pro. Sign up for a free application, assessment for coaching. Check out some more papers. There's a white paper for this. You can sign up and download if you're interested in learning more about it. Thanks very much. I very much appreciate your time. Go you. Thanks for watching Thoughtful Leadership. If you liked what you just saw, we hope you'll pass along our web address, gorocco.pro, to your friends and colleagues. Be sure to check out our podcasts, our channel on YouTube, our social media presence on Facebook and Instagram, and our blog at gorocco.pro. This has been a production of Power Focus Engineering PS and gorocco.pro. Join us next time for another edition of Thoughtful Leadership.